So it feels like yesterday that we were sitting at the bar top in Wasabi West restaurant on our first date where I tried to politely shove sushi in my mouth in one bite while you convinced me that Hatsumishu chicken was the best thing ever. It's hard to believe that this was over nine years ago and here we are today making it official that you're stuck with me for life. There are so many things I love about you, specifically the way you make me laugh, and that we both have an undeniable love for eating. I know we both have our flaws, God knows I'm not perfect, but I've come to love yours and I think after this many years, you've learned to handle mine. <laughs> Most importantly, you've learned to be patient with my crazy Italian family. I look at the life that we have together and I'm beyond thankful to be doing it with you. From our first house we bought and made a home, to the most important part of our life together are for baby Dax. I know it's only gonna get better from here. A life without you is unimaginable. You've always been my rock with all the ups and downs and you don't say much, but you don't have to. I promise to love you for the rest of my life, even if that means accepting you will never fold your clothes and put them away after washing them. You will forever be my person and I love you to the moon and back. <laughs> Sarah, I see these vows not as promises, but as privileges. I get to laugh with you, cry with you, care for you, and share with you. I get to run and walk with you for the rest of our lives. I promise to love you forever, to always be faithful, and to always be your best friend, no matter what the future might bring. I will always have your back. I will always cheer you on and be your biggest fan. You've made me a better, happier man than I ever thought possible. I can't wait to see what the world has in store for us and to start the adventure of the rest of our lives. Today, during this wedding ceremony, we have all witnessed your commitment to each other and your desire to spend the rest of your lives together. It is through the promises made and the love shown here today that I have, and the power vested in me, of course, that I have the honor and delight to declare you from this day forward to be husband and wife. Brennan, you may kiss your bride. I would like to present for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Brennan and Sarah Longbre. <laughs> Sarah's a loyal friend who is kind, always brings you up, always celebrates your wins, and is there for your hardships. Sarah's an amazing sister, daughter, niece, cousin, and granddaughter. She always puts her family first. I have one piece of advice from my long month of marriage. <laughs> always remember you're on the same team. And Sarah, always think twice before getting into a vehicle with Brennan or a side-by-side. <laughs> Here's to the long phrase. <laughs> I remember the day we were all standing in the kitchen and Brennan called my mom and said, hey mom, I'm bringing home a girl. And we were like, there's no way. There's no way Brennan's bringing home a girl. And uh, we were all so shocked because, you know, although he had a big tough guy personality, he was so shy around women. When Sarah came into Brennan's life, she really broke down that tough guy personality. She brought out that side of him that we all knew he had deep, deep down. Yeah. I'm so grateful for Sarah not only being the best person for Brennan, but for bringing out the side of him that I truly believed enabled us to become the relationship we have today. You emulate your mother by not taking life too seriously in the way your smile can light up a room and your laughter can fill it. She's most definitely all around you today, beaming with pride. I'd like to end off with a quote by the infamous Dr. Seuss to toast the bride. You're off to great places, today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Cheers to Sarah. One, two. <clears throat> yep. When it's the end of the weekend, but not 
quite the end of the weekend. Check it out. It is what it is. You got me feeling. You make me feel like I'm in all my best clothes. So good that I don't care that Chick fil A's closed. Like a slow motion cruise on the back roads and byways. Windows down and 